Spare me a moment of thy time, and I shall spin thee a yarn of debaucherous murder, foul drinking, and the stolen coins of the crown. Yeah, something like that. Hey guys, back to the new field that I was checking out yesterday. I'm going to swing the Knox. Found a 1907 quarter here. This site is much older than I thought. The current building that's here is from the 30s, and I don't know what was here before, so I suspect even older. Lots of trash, but uh, hopefully the Knox can cut through that, and we'll see what we can find. Okay, there it is. One lap around the yard, and uh, about an hour's worth of work. All 24 signals. So that's the only trash that I dug in just over an hour. One, I don't know what that is, it's not a nail, and one cap. So these were 24 signals or better, and I've got the first 30 signal here, so we'll see what it is. 29, 30, 34. There's the first signal there over 30. Let's dig it and see what it is. Well, it's not a coin. Something blue. Maybe a dinky car? I don't know. Look at that. Beautiful shape. Still got four wheels on it. It's a Hot Wheels made in Hong Kong. So just like my Subarus and my Mitsubishi, made to last. Buried in the ground 30 years. Nice little lorry. So this whole stretch right here where I found the little truck is full of 1950s pennies. Here's a 53. So here's hoping. I think I'm gonna go in between these trees too. That there is the remnants of a late 1800 Civil War captain. Or a second grader's toy pistol, you decide. Pretty intricate either way. Old English 800. Because you know how those grade 6 kids like to sit on the back porch and drink their bottle after a history class. Alright guys, that's another three hours in the books. I must have just lucked into that quarter yesterday because... There were no more good signals. Um, in terms of trash though, man, this machine is amazing for the amount of junk that I know is here. And I showed you guys with the AT in a quick hour there yesterday. Uh, three hours and I pulled four items that weren't a coin. Uh, that rang up that I thought were a coin. Two bottle caps and two, I don't think they were nails, but you know, wire type items. Other than that, uh, hey, the machine does a fantastic job of discriminating out that junk. This afternoon I'm going to head out to uh, Nipissing Field and see if we can find something old because so far this video is not that grandiose. Great. I knew it was a good idea to bring the dog. He pissed on both my shoes. So excited to get here in metal detect. He jumped out of the truck. Oh. Just this morning they had a thing on the radio asking people to call in. You know, if you were offered a million bucks for your pets, would you give them up? I don't think I have to answer that. I'm starting to get this machine now, I don't know, close to 20 hours. And I've walked quite a ways here, 100 yards from the vehicle. And I thought, nope, I'm not digging any signals unless it's a nice, probably coin signal. And I skipped a lot of crap, you know, 18, 19 signals, which I've been digging, trying to learn the machine. First hole, look what I got. Oh, that's a coin. Largey, I think. And that was down there probably nine, 10 inches. Let's uh, see if we can get a date on that. I'm not gonna waste my time with the iffy signals. This machine is so good at discriminating stuff out, I'm going after high end only. There you go, 1910 large scent. Sweet. So to get that large scent, uh, I was just barely hitting on it. I had to turn, I was on sensitivity 20, and I could just barely get a, I was getting a 22, 23, 24 signal, but only one direction. I put the sensitivity up to 24, and it just banged it out, clear as could be. 24, 24, 24. Loving it. So the plan this afternoon is 24 or better signals, I'm not even going to look at any scritchy 20s or anything. Nope, good stuff only. And we're here as long as it takes to come out of here with a handful of good stuff.
Okay, so I'm figuring out why I love this machine. It's changing the way I hunt. I go after good signals and I know that the good signals are usually something good. Nine times out of 10, it's something good. And then when I get curious, if I wanna go after a 17 or a 13, which I just went after this 13 here just for giggles because it was down reading eight inches plus. Look at that. That is an intact old shell. I don't even know the caliber of that. I've never found one like that. That's old. And a minute ago, I just dug a 17. And it was another brass casing. So I was kind of interested to find out where brass sat on this machine anyway. I haven't dug any casings. We've dug most of them out of this field, I think. But solid 17. But that's the difference is now I decide when I want to go for junk and just let curiosity take me. Uh, you know, good signals are usually good signals. Here's a couple of oldies out of the same hole, 57 and a 68. Well, look at that pretty gold lipstick case and it's heavy. I think there's lipstick in it. There is writing on here too. Let's see if I can brush it off. Chesabrow Toronto. Chesabrow something hyphen something Toronto. And then on the bottom here it says Pond's Lips. P-O-N-D-S Lips. I'm gonna leave that sealed. I tried to give it a little twist, it didn't want to open. I don't want to break it. Cool find. Okay, so that's what it says on the top. Chesabrow hyphen Pond's. P-O-N-D-S. Toronto. Well, 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 what do we have here? It was ringing up a 19. I wasn't even going to dig this. Looks like a coin, maybe. What is that? It's thin. Oh boy. What is that? Oh, that's so frustrating. That is a coin. More than likely the oldest coin I've ever found. And it's just so thin and so worn, I can't identify it. It's not Canadian. It's way too thin. But it's a coin. And I can't get a date off of it. I, I'm not done looking at it. I'll try it home with the loop and everything. That is, I don't know what that is, guys. That's old. Look at the edge on that. That is a coin. Ah, it's frustrating. 1892 is the oldest coin I've found, so I'm pretty sure this beats it maybe by a hundred years. I don't know. <laughs> ah. 1947, and that was down there a good 10 inches. Seems like I find more 41s and 47s than anything. Look at that, right in the plug. A ring. Still got the stone in it. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> now, is it silver or is it just a kid's junker? Probably the latter. Oh, that feels pretty heavy. Uh, I think there's markings in there. I'll have to clean this up and take a look here. Okay, it says Sterling G-A-J, whatever that means. So it is Sterling. And I don't know what the stone is, but it sure is shiny. Cool! Well, I guess that constitutes a pocket full of good stuff. So those are all pennies that we missed. A couple, uh, 40, 50, 60, 1910 large cent. Ah, this little worn out guy. And if you look, it's the exact same diameter as the large cent, but it's only about half as thick. So I'm going to try to ID it. I'm going to try to clean it up when I get home. I don't know. And then the really cool sterling with the nice green stone. So I would say pretty productive day for uh, the amount of hours that we have on this field. I'll take that. So I'm actually looking at this ring here and when the tarnish comes off of it, it's in really good shape still. So I'm just uh, pushing it back into round very gently here and then I'm gonna clean it all up. I'll take a photograph for you guys. It looks friggin' amazing. Look at where I, where I rubbed the uh, there's like a really thin film of tarnish on it. And once that comes off, 
nice and all the clasps look really strong and the stone is still really good so I'm gonna see if I can restore it well I've got good news on the 1910 it cleaned up beautifully I'll take some macro shots you guys will be able to see it it's gonna look fantastic both sides looks like it was just minted and dropped uh, the ring turned out fantastic as well give that to my daughter she always there's still a little bit of yellow tarnish that I just can't get off on the top, but man, whatever. The stone looks good on it. The band looks good on it. Unfortunately, this old coin is just absolutely wiped. You cannot see anything on either side of it, but I am positive that it's a coin. Ah, oh, History slipped right through my fingers right there. So we'll call it for today guys, uh, that's about mm, seven hours worth of detecting, so good enough. Tomorrow I'm off with Stan, we don't know where yet, we're going to figure that out tonight. We're going to try to maybe go exploring and find somewhere new. And uh, stay tuned for that, it'll probably be a bush hunt of some kind. So we'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching.